Mm -hmm. I was just reading Jeremiah uh, 13. Yeah. Thus saith the Lord unto me, Go mm -hmm, and get thee a linen girdle mm -hmm, and put it upon thy loins and put it not in water. Oh, oh, oh. So I got a girdle according to the word of the Lord, and I put it on my loins. And the word of the Lord came unto me the second time, saying, Yes, take the girdle that thou hast got, which is upon thy loins, and arise, go to Euphrates, and hide it there in the hole of the rock. Yes. So I went and hid it, I hid it by Euphrates, as the Lord commanded me. And it came to pass after many days that the Lord said unto me, Arise, go to Euphrates, and take the girdle from thence, which I commanded thee to hide there. Yes. Then I went to Euphrates, and digged, and, and took the girdle from the place where I had hid it, and behold, the girdle was marred. It was profitable for nothing. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Thus saith the Lord, after this manner will I mar the pride of Judah and the great pride of Jerusalem. This evil people which refuse to hear my words, which walk in the imagination of their hearts and walk after other gods to serve them and to worship them, shall even be as this girdle which is good for nothing. For as the girdle cleaveth to the loins of a man, so have I caused to cleave unto me the whole house of Israel <laughs> and the whole house of Judah, <laughs> saith the Lord, <laughs> that they might be unto me for a people and for a name and for a praise and for a glory. <laughs> but they would not hear. <laughs> now, uh, this girdle, yes, mm -hmm, that uh, Jeremiah mm -hmm, had girded around his loins. <laughs> I would interpret the word loins as being the testicles of the actual individual. <laughs> now, let's say mm -hmm, I don't wear underwear. Mm -hmm. And I thought that underwear was unnecessary for any man to wear because why do we have it? Mm -hmm. Did it originate from the use of the girdle of Old Testament times? Mm -hmm. Now, my want was to wear uh, shorts, a t-shirt, and flip-flops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the thought was that if I had a good woman, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, every time that zipper came down, mm -hmm, there would be nothing obstructing us from connecting with one another. <clears throat> now, I know a lot of men, they feel a compulsion to have to constrain their testicles. <laughs> it's like having a girdle around your loins where you really ask yourself, well, why, why wouldn't I let my actual genitals just run free? <clears throat> Why do we actually have underwear? This is something I didn't understand, really. I have had boxer shorts before. Yeah. And I've had briefs. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, to a certain extent, I've had Speedos. Mm -hmm. But what is the actual purpose of the underwear that men wear? Mm -hmm. Now, somebody said, well, you have an ass stain <clears throat> and you didn't want to get that on your pants. Mm -hmm. You know, for all of those that have the leaking anus that sewed into the actual family, thinking this was a better way to go, <laughs> I would be very concerned about this whole idea of what is known as the, well, the ass stain, really. <sighs> now, for every time I've worn pants where that was there, yes, I did notice that it didn't show through. Mm. So could you explain exactly what the purpose of underwear is for men? Mm. I really don't understand why we wear it. Yes, I would have thought pants were good enough <laughs> or shorts. Now, this uh, girding of the loins. Yes. Is there any local uh, Fairchild Air Force Base? Yes. Carl, uh, Carlsberg uh, Airport? Yes. <laughs> any of these smaller municipality airports that have a radio communication system? Yes. That could sew into my testicles, causing me to get an erection. <laughs> because of those that said, well, I have to. Mm -hmm. I have to come to find out, and the only way to do that is to use the radio communication system of smaller airports. Why don't you get me the GPS location of all the small airports in Carlsberg right now? As I understand it, yes, uh, not 
not far from 1023 Kitchen Dick Road, just across the road there. Yes, there was one of these smaller airports that may not have a radar system of the larger airports. Yeah. Now, if you did decide to use some sort of technology to implant yourself or any citizen without their knowledge, yes, did you have to be on them through the actual airport radio communication system? Why don't you give me all the private and publicly owned airports throughout the United States in the radio communication system <laughs> and see if any of the fish that rare breed, the ancient breed of those that come to money, yeah, have this thing about who's going to put their underwear on and what they're going to see when they do. Now, I'm really not wanting to gird my loins today. In fact, if I was able to remove my clothing and take a very long bath, I'd feel good about myself. <laughs> now, this evil people... <laughs>